Bro, Jose texted me the other day from work. He put Fall Guys on the computers at work. Why? This dude playing Fall Guys in 4x3. Here we go. What's up, everybody? <laughs> Welcome to Team right. Movies Podcast, episode 173. I'm Terry. I'm joined with my friends, Dwight. That's me. That's you. That's where you say a thing. <laughs> Alex. Hello. Oh, wait. Brando. Hello. Are we supposed to say something that's unique to us? Like in like you summer can, camp? Yeah, that's not, that's Let's not do, good. yes. Uh, like uh, show and tell. again. Uh, Say to, to in, Dwight, in a, what did you do? What Terry, did what did you do this summer, Dwight? Uh, I made I learned how to kiss a slug. Very good, Alex. What did you do over the summer? I watched Dwight kiss a slug. He did. Okay, it's a little weird. He did. Brando, what did you do this summer? Uh, I was sleeping. Brando was the slug. <laughs> <laughs> was that what that was? I thought that was a dream. And he was sleeping. <laughs> and he was sleeping. We all took t- <laughs> we all took turns licking Brando. <laughs> Called him a slug. I knew it. <laughs> I'm out of here. I hate you guys. Is anybody even gonna understand the kissing the slug thing, dude? That's Probably. a that's a thing, I guess. Like the really, it's 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 more spread out than he thought. They they had to stop doing it, I guess, though. Like that, that yeah, has a... <laughs> no, they were killing the slugs. Yeah, the slugs were dying. So the, uh, it was like shortly after we stopped or uh, we came back. I think is when mm-hmm. they stopped doing it. Um, for those who don't know, there is a. I don't. I don't think it. It can't be just a California thing. Science camp got to be everywhere, right? Like. Well, yeah, but I mean, it was the banana slugs are like specific to our region, I believe. I think so. Yeah, I've heard of it. You've heard of kissing a banana slug? Oh yeah, yeah. It's like a tradition. Uh, you go to science camp, you gotta kiss a banana slug. Mm-hmm. What? Oh, then I've never heard of that. You? Yeah, that's. I mean, you wouldn't have because you're on the other side of the country where yeah, there yeah. probably are no bananas. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why do you kiss the slug? It's just. It's weird just a tradition. Camp. Yeah, it's a weird some... camp thing. It was to freak out like kids. It was. They were being messed with too much. Like people were like hunting them down or some shit, and like they were like trying to find them all the time. And like so, you'd grab one and like take it out of its habitat, and then a bunch of people were fucking, you know, kissing it and shit. And then they're like, (laughs) they throw it away. (laughs) They just they (laughs) chuck it back into the forest. (laughs) Thanks, asshole. <laughs> they just they chuck that shit back in there. You imagine you're minding your business and this giant thing comes and picks you up and starts kissing you and passing you around and then chucks you back into the forest. <laughs> uh see that's why they had to break the tradition. It was it was bad. It was bad for the banana slugs. It was bad for everyone involved. It really was. It wasn't pleasant. I don't remember enjoying that it experience. Sound like very sanitary. No. Like, no. Wild. This was, was like, no. Alex. This was back when germs didn't exist. Right. Oh. This was the early two thousands or no sixth grade for us would have been like ninety seven. Nine. Uh, no. Sixth grade. Sixth grade great. was like ninety nine. Ninety eight. Ninety nine. I think. Yeah. Cause I remember junior yeah. high, we were, we were. It was yeah. Cause when, <laughs> oddly enough, I based my 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 timeline is based off of nine eleven. <laughs> right. Yeah, and I, no, I very specific. Yeah, yeah, I very specifically very remember. Angry. We were in seventh grade uh, when that happened. So um, was it seventh? I'm pretty sure. Eight. Yeah. Was it eighth grade? I feel like. Eighth grade. It was junior high was for sure. Talk. Yeah. Brando, what yeah, oh, grade were yeah, you in? Sure. Yep. Nope, nope, nope. Junior <laughs> high. How was Graduated. college during that time? <laughs> no, that was the year before high school, is how I remember it. So. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. 
I yeah no you're right because two thousand two. I remember lining up. I think it was for Mr. Johnson's history class, and he only did eighth grade, I think, or he swapped to eighth grade. I think thinking that it would be a better crowd, but it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, and Mr. Johnson, he probably was thinking of it like that. It's like you know these seventh graders. Yep. I don't know Fucking about that. <laughs> I think I'm gonna give him another year. Eighth grade got to be better. <laughs> he gets it. Like, ah. <laughs> it's like nope, uh, still the same little shithead. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Your middle school is always the worst one to teach. Yeah, because it's got to be like you're in that phase where you think you're hot shit. Because you're at the top of <laughs> your school now before you transfer to a high school. Mm-hmm. But you're still a fucking child. Oh, yeah. dude. Man, that's fucking, I mean, looking back, you get really retrospective about shit. And, like, um, thinking about how much of, like, a, like hot shit I felt rocking into, like, freshman year or like junior high or what being eighth grade because that was like the end of our our school was k through eight so like eighth grade you're the you're the tippity top of the of the of the class and you think you're fucking hot shit you know everything you don't you don't know shit <laughs> you're so fucking yeah. dumb at that moment <laughs> like yeah i actually i have a traumatic story about that not real traumatic just something that i remember going transitioning from eighth grade to high school like that summer Mm -hmm. so i was just i was dumbass kid you know cruising at the mall whatever kind of deal thought i was a badass kind of thing really not really nerdy kind of guy i remember i very distinctly remember very cute cute girl like whispering to her friends and whatnot i had no idea who this girl was and she comes up to me and she just out of nowhere, she says hi and introduces herself. And in my adolescent, stupid brain, I was thinking, oh, she's into me. She's totally into me. But I could do better than this. And I was just, oh. my response to this in my head, it was a good idea at the time, was just to say, no thanks, and walk away. <laughs> and I still think about that. <laughs> Like, how traumatic that must have been for the girl, first off. And the fact that I still remember, like, that Go happening. On. I, was just like, I thought you were going to give us like, a time frame. And I still remember that happening <laughs> years ag- later. <laughs> just, like, how much of an asshole was I at that point to to do that to another person? Anybody else? This is definitely one of those moments that, like, you think about. 20 years later and it just hits you in the gut. Like, yeah, yeah exactly. Every, everybody, no one is unique in, in having that moment. Everybody has had that moment. Everybody it's has like, something. I can't believe I did that thing 25 years ago. <laughs> Everybody's going to have a memory when they hit 30 and they're like, shit, I'm 30. And you start thinking back on things. And then that memory comes right fucking back. <laughs> yep. You're and, like, you, you like kind of dance around it in your head, like you know that if you keep going down, <laughs> I know you're sitting there like you're just like, okay, what else can we look at? <laughs> Anything else at all, please? <laughs> wow, would you look at the video game on the screen? <laughs> <laughs> but it's too late, dude. It's too Fuck late. late. <laughs> <laughs> thinking about thinking about it is enough to think about it. Yeah. That, that's my traumatic story. <laughs> that's okay. That's I, I, story. Brando, I feel like I got a whole pocket full of those memories. Like, I can't, that's true. I can't think of one off the top of my head, and I'm just, I'm afraid to dig for it. Okay, I remember. <laughs> we because, the subject. <laughs> yeah, because then I'm gonna think of it. Um, and I don't and want, you're gonna have I it in your head. That. The whole podcast is gonna be in your head, but you're, you're, not, you're gonna wait till we're done. <laughs> And then you're just gonna be like, <laughs> we're, all gonna be, we're all gonna be lying awake tonight, just staring at the ceiling. It's like, what the fuck, dude? I can't. Like, it's I got a fucking wife now, so like having like <laughs> having these like thoughts come back to me of like how I fucked over like previous relationships or possible relationships, like in Brando's case, it yeah. it shouldn't matter anymore. It shouldn't. I'm be like, shouldn't. I fucking won. I like, I I came across the finish line. I'm I'm good now. Like, I don't need to worry about that. 
like, God damn, if it doesn't right. still fucking suck. <laughs> like, yeah. It doesn't get Absolutely. better. I don't know if this is actually going to help people or not. That's the lesson. It doesn't uh, get better. Yeah. <laughs> like, there's, there's, there's kids. <laughs> I say kids. Uh, who are like 22 listening to us, right? And they have these memes. Memes. They have these memes, right? They have these memes. <laughs> <laughs> that, are, that, are, <laughs> that are still fresh in their mind about high school because they're just out of it. They turn the corner. They're, they're, they can look around and still see high school, right? And they're like, oh, man, that's an embarrassing thought. It'll eventually go away. It doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> I mean, they, you're going to be sitting on your ass just watching something, and it's just going to pop back in your head for no reason so anyways yeah. let's get on a lighter topic how about that <laughs> <Anyway>. coronavirus <laughs> oh. been reading yeah, all about like this we, we did gotta, that bit last time we gotta do something else. guys hear about this you ever hear about this this coronavirus thing <laughs> that's true that bit was last podcast that, that last, po- when was we last podcast yeah no we could but we but will we it's been a few months right it was two months ago yeah. two months ago and that podcast was three months after the last one we're going back on our our, our old schedule here good 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 cadence i like it oh nice mm-hmm. and we're doing uh, it how have your last two months been <clears throat> who eh. anybody <laughs> <laughs> And it's funny because I'm watching guy on the screen and his face is just like <laughs> we got we got to do this shit with webcams, man. Like we got to make that a thing, even if we don't record it. Like mine is buried somewhere. Yeah, I gotta look for mine. All right, next next time. All right, try to try to try to dig it out and keep it someplace. Terry, you're you're moving soon, anyways. I was about to send I'm out moving. your package. What? I'm, I ain't gonna send it until you get into your new place. Wait, where are you going? Are you still going to be in San Fran or somewhere else? Yeah, I'm just moving like three blocks down the way. Oh, okay. Oh, you got a place already? Yep. Oh, nice. Yeah, we were like, we're in like a good situation where our rents individually are pretty manageable and like actually really good for the city. So there was no rush, but, you know, I think a couple, yeah, a couple weeks ago, I was just kind of like browsing on my own and then came across a place and it was like kind of ticked all my boxes showed it to mike ticked all his boxes we were like okay well if, what the fuck do we do like do we do this like, <laughs> <laughs> and I now did, what <laughs> dude I, I relate to that fucking feeling so much where you're just it's sitting like, here like uh, wait like yeah. We, like we this is it. <laughs> like we got we got we got to do something about this, right? Like <laughs> you you were handed a handed a golden egg, and you're like, it's like oh shit, like because you know we're both like <laughs> totally comfortable in our separate places, like totally not expecting to find anything, mm-hmm. and then when it lands in your lap, you're just like oh fuck. <laughs> yep, that's exactly it. Well, fuck. Time time to do this, I guess. So we got the place uh moving in next week. Ooh, Damn. Man, All right. Yeah. It's very it's, quick. Like, that's man. awesome. Yeah, when you Who's told that? me you're like, Yeah, I'm moving in like two weeks, and I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> oh, and I, I told do, you that after that? like like that was like a couple days, a day after we got the place. Yeah. Which was like a few days after like applying for the place, like it's happened very quickly. Dude, wow. that's, that's yeah. insane. Did you have to break your lease or is it up in like a week? No, my lease been up. I only had a one year, and then after that, it was just like whenever, Months whenever I bounced. Yeah. yeah. Not bad, man. Oh, good deal. Congrats. Thank you. It'll yeah. be nice having more than one room. <laughs> We, we, pull pull your mic away a little bit, Terry. You you breathe into it. He's excited. Let I know. Him be I, excited. That's why I was letting him get through his like you know his thing. I, I could tell he's excited by how fast he breathes. <laughs> he's eating his microphone. I, I've picked that up over the years. Well, first I was too far, and then now I'm too close. So what? I I'm splitting the difference. Splitting <laughs> yeah. The... So what? You want me to split the difference or something? <laughs> um. So, so yeah. What? What's up? What do you do like after work? What is it? 
I mean, he's married. Like, I, I, like yeah, because like I see you're at work, all right, and then you just yeah. disappear for like the rest of the night. I'm like, yeah, where, where did like go? Be a husband for a yeah. few hours. You hang out with the wife, Alex. That's how it works. Yeah, but like every day, I feel like I get <laughs> sick of seeing your face every single. Oh day. my god! <laughs> well, you get sick of seeing Brando. Is that what you're saying? Or I, yeah, we get yeah. sick of each other. Like Leanne and I get sick of you. If I was your wife, I'd get sick of you. <laughs> that's, I, that's what I feel like Alex is trying to say. Like, uh, I just want to like do like play a video game on my own for I, a change. Like, I feel like Alex is like really trying to slyly be like, Dwight, I miss you, man. I just want to <laughs> play video. I just want to play a game with you every now and yeah, then. Yeah, while like, I'm dude. telling you that I get sick of seeing your face every single day. <laughs> Well, yeah, it's like the children, like high school, like schoolyard shit, right? Like you be mean to the person you have a crush on. You know, that's what I'm I feeling. I feel, like, I feel like I was like, fuck, I'm tired of seeing you. But, you know, if you want to like be online and just play play some video games or something, I'm cool with it, but I don't want to see you. <laughs> Whatever. Now would be good. Ah. Nah, for real. It's, 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 uh, I I just I work from fucking like eight in the morning to like six p.m. So like after that I'm just like I want to get away from this computer, and mm, usually that that's yeah, and usually that's like Leanne's making dinner or um something of that nature. So I'm just like fucking I'm gonna go have dinner and then I'm gonna sit on the couch. We're gonna watch some whatever show that we're watching at the moment, and then I go to fucking bed at like ten thirty, and then I wake up at 7 30 the next morning and do it all over again and it's it's the last month has been tough because we have a big announcement big old thing happening on the Ooh. first and i'm the video game boy at nvidia so um because of that i have a lot of things i have to record and it goes through everything that i record goes through i think like 15 people of different like departments and and th- and those those 15 people they got some words every now and then you know usually usually well, more often than not they have thoughts yes it's crazy they I didn't have think, notes like, footage like that would go like through so many people yeah it is published like that yeah because a lot of it is like like say we're showing off like a new technology right like we we put it we updated dlss uh 2.0 in death stranding that video came out a couple weeks ago and uh dlss is a very like like particular type of like technology you know it's a it's deep learning super sampling so it's like take anti-aliasing and even though anti-aliasing it, it computes like all the triangles and polygons and shit and it tries to come up with ones in between that to make it smooth right well old school anti-aliasing does that every single frame for every single pixel across your entire screen. So once you scale that shit up to 4k, you're talking a couple million pixels that it has to do every single frame. And if you're playing a game at like 60, 80 frames a second, that's a lot of math. So DLSS comes out and basically what DLSS does is like, Oh shit, these pixels are the same as like last frame. Fuck them. We don't got to do it again. So it just works on the ones that that move after Mm. that. And the performance gains are insane. So for take Death Stranding, for example, uh, I was playing Death Stranding on max detail, ultra detail at 4K at over 60 frames a second with a normal 2060. Hmm. Like not even a 2060 super, not overclocked, not anything, just a regular old bog standard RTX 2060 is able to play Death Stranding 4K on Ultra over 60 frames a second. Like, it's insane. That's mind blowing to me because all 4K. All thanks to DLSS. All thanks to DLSS, yeah. Because without DLSS on, this is in my video that I, I recorded, you can see that the, it doubles the frame rate. Like, actually doubles it. It takes it from like 30 to 35 frames on average to over 60. Um, and and it and DLSS, DLSS comes with like extra benefits too. Like it has like sharpening and like a whole bunch of other like really good qualities of it, right? So because of that, there's a lot of extra stuff going in there. So like not only does it have to go through like Kojima to um, 
approve all the footage that I took to make sure that it's it's representative of the game and that it's not just some crappy stuff, right? It has to go through my whole marketing team to make sure that the video is good too. Like it's it's interesting, the pacing's all right and all that stuff. I don't have to edit these, but I still have to capture compelling footage, even if it is just comparison stuff. Um, and then it also goes through the DLSS engineers. So they have the, the those engineers are the ones that like with a microphone micro what fucking what is the magnifying glass microphone <laughs> they use a microphone <laughs> where they look at the pixels uh magnifying glass and they look at the footage and then they're telling me like oh you can't use this footage because there's a problem on these four pixels on this 4K footage <laughs> over here sort of thing um and now I have to go and recapture the footage like it's just not usable um. So, uh, it's like, yeah, it's all these like gateways that the footage has to go through. And once it passes through all those gateways and everybody's like, looks good. Then we edit it into a video and it goes out. Mm. Yeah. And there's stuff that I'm working on right now that I can't talk about. Um, that has been just a nightmare. Uh, just because of like the quality level is so high, um, that, uh, that it needs to be perfect. So, um, that's, that's, that's my work day <laughs> is, is that and why I haven't had a weekend in a couple of weeks, <laughs> <laughs> but boy, am I looking forward to, to my time after the first I get, I think a week and then G force garage content picks back up. Mm. Yeah. And there's going to be some dope shit for that including some stuff that's behind me, but you can't really make it out. And the, the, boy, the boys got back. a webcam they can see, but yeah, um, yeah, I got a build back there that I'm working on. You're going to have your weekends back after the first? I think. I <laughs> hope. <laughs> 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 yeah, it, it's like the forecast right now looks pretty good. You know, looks sunny. Um, Speaking of forecast. <laughs> Oof. Jesus, to your guys' weather. Good lord. <laughs> Dude, California been getting dogged. Like, yeah, fire tornadoes. And fire tornadoes. Storms, lightning storms. Yeah. Dry Boy, lightning there. storms. Yeah. Like, super, like, dry air. Like, we have, right now, California, that's actually really close to us, Terry, but the valley anyways, um, uh, over the Alameda Mountains and stuff like that around there. There is a fire that has burned more acres than there is in Rhode Island, the state. So it burned down a state. Yeah, basically. It's like 771,000 acres have burned so far. So, and uh, Tracy, by the way, has gotten um, alerts to prepare for evacuation. Tracy? Tracy. Because on the other side of 580, that's where the fire is. And they are now within six miles of it. Holy shit. That's yeah. like you could see it down the street coming. Like, basically. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Cause like when you think about wildfires in California, generally, you think more like the wooded areas and like not. <laughs> I saw that one of y'all. Small cities. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I saw one of y'all state parks burn down. Which like one? Park. <laughs> oh, dude, that's a yeah, that's a yearly tra know. tradition at this point, man. It's, that sucks. <laughs> when you, we had like a, we had a week of solid triple digits, over like ten days of like a hundred and ten to a hundred and eight degrees Fahrenheit, which is I for our um, overseas people that's like thirty eight Celsius, thirty nine, somewhere around there. Um. And it was just solid. And so that was just drying everything up. And like, I don't know, just a fire just happened. And it just, we have so many like the golden hills of California, which is Alameda County, basically. That's just all yellow dried grass. And it comes back during the winter. It's actually really nice during the winter when it's all green. It's the only time that it looks nice. Yeah. Um, and it honestly, like there's like, um, like take highway 50. Like there's some of the best views that I've ever seen in California through there. 
Hey everybody, this is Dwight from the future. I actually meant Highway 84. I know for the 99% of you that doesn't matter, but for the couple of you that are in California, I meant Highway 84. Highway 50 is up north. Goes to Reno, I believe. I'm talking about 84, the one that goes down to the Bay Area. Okay, bye-bye. Uh, during the winter when it's all green. And, uh, but during the summer, it's just all fucking dead grass. And that shit just lights up, man. And it just goes. And with all the winds that go over those mountains, it just, you know, you add air mm -hmm. and fire and just tons yep. of fuel. And it's just, it's awful. Like, it has been brown here for days. You guys saw my tweet, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It was just like, it was orange outside. You should Photoshop the fallout HUD on top of it. <laughs> That's a really good idea. That's a really good idea. Um, Looking like Blade Runner over there. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it's it's been, it's been shitty for sure, but um, other people in California have it worse than, than we do right now in Mantega. Man, that's insane that Tracy's getting a warning. Yeah. Leanne's uh, parents live in Tracy's, so they got the they got the warning. Yeah. And told them that they can come and crash here if they need to. And you said they're in six miles of a fire? Within six miles of the fire, yeah. <sighs> you could see that coming down the street. I mean, they probably could stand <laughs> like, outside. Oh, circles coming in. You know, like tonight they probably could go outside and actually probably see like fire on the hills of Tracy. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. It's, I mean, Alex, did you see the photos of the fire tornado? No. I don't. <laughs> oh, dude. It is, it is actually like horrifying, like images. Yeah. Like the fuck is a fire tornado first? And like, I don't want to be anywhere near it. <laughs> Um, let's see. I gotta get the California one. I saw somebody say something about it that it's not a tornado that just happened to pick up fire. No. Yeah, like no, this is a tornado made of fire. fire. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like fucking Sharknado, but <laughs> it's fucking fire. There we go. What is that voice linked up? Oh, oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's bonkers, man. And then there was like a fuck ton of lightning. Was that in San Francisco more, more Terry? Uh, um, Did you guys get lightning out there? I don't think so. Not that mm. I saw or experienced. Mm. Uh, I thought it was supposed to be more in your guys' direction. It's yeah. Cool. No, it, it was, fire. we had really, really odd weather where it was, um, it was like overcasty and like really dark skies, but n like rain came for maybe five minutes and it wasn't even rain. It was just like a little bit of sprinkle mm -hmm. and it was just like humid outside and just crazy hot. And, um, yeah, then like one morning at like f five or six in the morning, like the loudest thunder you've ever heard, like just is going off like crazy out here. Um, Jeez. yeah, it was, it was like an apocalyptic movie. It's been <laughs> so fucking crazy out here. Yeah. So how's it been in Florida and Hawaii? Yeah, how are you guys? How are you guys? Hawaii, Florida has been just fine. Let me tell you, it's a little <laughs> hot. It's uh, it's been in the upper eighties lately, so it's not too bad. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We both had hurricane warnings, but nothing came of it. I still have one, so. Yeah. Always. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, it looks like it's coming more to the west, so it might not even hit Florida. Just go straight to like Texas, bro. It blows my mind how like nonchalant about hurricanes you and Adrian can be. No, oh, we don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, you know, lifelong Floridians. Oh, this is not even like once it hits like category four hurricane, then it's like, all right, let me get out of my chair. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, they 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 close the blinds. It's like, oh, all right, whatever, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> all right, let me go get some batteries just in case. Yeah. It's about Damn, it. fucking category four is still a hundred and thirty mile an hour winds. It's nothing. And you guys fucking just get let me get my batteries. <laughs> yeah, it's not that big a deal. Damn. He says the buildings here are built to withstand hurricanes like that. I, I think that's probably what it is you're in an, in an, an environment built yeah which is weird because how how is we can't build our environment to be fireproof how <laughs> like is one build for fire tornado <laughs> <laughs> do we need guns Heat do we need more up. guns <laughs> have NASA build the houses to make everything out of concrete <laughs> no because then it turns into a, an oven do you know what a pizza oven is <laughs> Would you rather be burnt to a crisp or like a little uncomfortable, a little singed? I'm a little leaving toast. either way if a fire gets that close. I'm gone. <laughs> like I'm a I'm a I'm a fill my car with all my computers, Leanne's car with the rest of my computers, and then we're leaving. <laughs> That's all that matters. <laughs> Jesus Christ, save the computer. <laughs> I got stuff, man. I got, <laughs> you know, <laughs> behold my stuff. Like, I got, I got a bo- a bunch. You can't see it on the camera. I got a bunch of magic cards up there. I got to save those. Those are flammable, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I got what? Alduin, he'll be fine. He's a dragon, <laughs> you know. You don't have any pets over there, do you? Nah, not yet. Okay. We're, <laughs> no. we're we're like we're so on the fence. Her parents are like really against kind of pets because they think they're they they're gross and pets what? can be if you don't take care of them for sure. Um, but uh, like we really want to get a, like a little pomeranian. Yeah, of course, of course, dude. You know me, like the traditional life yeah it's it's in my blood man and like you can't you can't look at a pomeranian and ever just be like i hate this dog <laughs> like, <laughs> like like there's a lot of dogs out there where you're just like you know what i'm not really into that but like you show someone you show someone like a little puppy pomeranian you can't you can't say no to that thing like it's too fucking cute you know like let me let me show you what we're looking at I have reservations about tiny dogs and hairy dogs. What's your reservation? I have reservations about dogs in general, but yeah. I love a dog, but they need so much attention. I love other people's dogs. Yeah. 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 Hey, you come over. All right. I'm gonna let you play with my little palm right here. My little raccoon palm right. Liz. <laughs> Everybody, listen to the podcast. Take a break. Go look up a blue Merrill Pomeranian. Look at that little itty thing. These things are the fucking most adorable pieces of shit in the whole <laughs> goddamn world. Look up the look at look up puppies if you just want to like look at, at dog photos for like, uh, a while. This is like dangerous territory now. <laughs> uh, yeah, like it's just a cute motherfucker, and it has like this really cool like black, gray, white like spotted coat. It's like the, 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 dog. Yeah, and it's just ugh, it's so fucking so fucking cute. And uh, yeah, I mean, like, how do you, how do you look at that and just be like, you know, I'm not into that. <laughs> like, you know, I get it if you're not uh, into small I dogs, I guess. I love that for you. Thank you. <laughs> That's great for you. Look at Terry. <laughs> So you come by, you see a little Pomeranian puppy come up to you like this. What are you going to do? <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm going to shake its hand like yeah. it wants me to. You're going to shake its hand out of respect and be like, thank sure. you. And Pleasure then to meet you. He'll show you how to refinance your mortgage. <laughs> Damn. And you got to follow him into his office. It's like, all right, just walk this way. <laughs> do his tiny little Pomeranian scoot. Yeah, it's the little, like, tips, tip taps. <laughs> <laughs> just walks into your room like that one morning day. yeah like hey we gotta back up all the computers 
you grab those ones. I'll get this one. <laughs> we gotta go. <laughs> I got the car running. <laughs> Don't ask me how. <laughs> no, no, that's cute. Yeah, we we we're, we're looking at cats too. Like it's it's back and forth. Like getting a little kitten, but like. As someone who's had a lot of animals growing up, I have had so many more better and amazing dogs than I have had awesome cats. I've had yep. one awesome cat in my entire life, and that cat is still around at my parents' house. And her name is Sophie, and she is the the drooliest cat you'll ever meet. But <laughs> she won't she won't let you ha- hold her, but she'll let you pet her. And her belt, she'll let you rub her belly too, which cats never let you do. They'll, she'll let you do whatever you want as long as you're petting her, but she'll just fucking drool because it's like she loves it so much. And it's like the <laughs> softest Aww. little like just piece of shit and she just melts. Like it's just like as soon as you start petting her, she's just gone and like she drools. <laughs> and that's the only bad part. But I, I've had numerous dogs that have been just a, the, the best fucking dogs ever. And they're super fun. And like Pomeranians are like puppies, like their entire life. Like when Pepper was still around, um, he was like 16 years old, like last year before he passed. And he was still like doing a stupid little dance. Like he couldn't, he couldn't hear. He could barely see. Um, and he was still like doing a stupid little Pomeranian dance, like super happy and stuff like that. Just being around people. And he was 16 years old and, and just, you know, I don't think he was like really having the best time, you know, the last couple of months because he's a 16 year old small dog. Um, but like, I loved his can do spirit, you know, he, 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 he always had that initiative, that, that drive of being a good dog, uh, up until his shout last days. Pepper. Yeah. Shout out to Pepper. Coco, on the other hand, she she could be a little bitch, but you know she's a good dog. She's a good dog. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, she was the instigator. She was the one that was like, "I'm top bitch in this house," sort of thing. You know. <laughs> she had it's that sort awful. of attitude. Yeah. So she was she was the instigator, but she was good. So no pets yet. Yeah, Mike has a cat, and it's truly the only cat I respect. Yeah. <laughs> you respect it. Like, I respect it. She's same. just super chill. Like she doesn't fuck with anything. She just sits there. She'll let you pet her or whatever. She'll let you pet her on her stomach. She'll let you pick her up. Like That's... she just doesn't like fight you in any way. <laughs> Cats Dude, in general. Tummy rubs and being picked up whenever. Those if your if your cat has those two things, it's a solid ass cat. That's a yeah. good cat, man. She's just a nice cat. She mm-hmm. doesn't like fuck with anything. She doesn't swipe at you. She doesn't hiss at you. I've never heard that cat hiss. You got any fucking she just photos? Minds of this cat? business. I want to see some photos of this cat. I'd probably get some photos of the cat. Yeah, you 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 dig those up. I want to see some photos of a cat. I mean, I see his kid cat. cat. What's the kid cat, cat name? Trinity. Oh, that's a fucking cool name. <laughs> that's a cool ass name, dude. Trinity was cool. Matrix. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure, they were out here a few months ago filming. The Matrix? Yeah. yeah. Matrix then, 4. Yeah. They're making a Matrix 4. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. You're telling me. Fucking John Matrix 4 and John there? Wick 4 coming out on the same goddamn day, dude. Yeah, I saw that. Like, oh. Cool. Well. Oh, Terry getting all robot-y. What was that? Oh, shit. No, that's me. Ah, oh, shit. Wait, no. Internet. Hello? I'm coming back? No. Hold on. Let me turn off my camera. Oh, no. Everybody went robot. What happened? Okay. Oh, oh, it was Discord. Okay. What's up, everybody? Whoa. I thought it was me. I was like, yeah, we we all thought it was me. Us. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Nah, it's just, okay. It was Discord. All right. 
I was sitting there. I was like, oh, shit, no, I'm, I'm dying. Like, Terry went all robot <laughs> And I looked and I saw my ping was at like in in the red, but it was still like 90. And I was like, what the fuck's going oh. on? Uh, all right. So, Terry, you were saying something about. Uh, Matrix. Yeah. How, I mean, is is that still going? Are they still going to come out on the same day? How is that going to work now? Because that was the plan before the world went to shit. Yeah. <laughs> the world ended. Yeah. I mean, like um, Christopher Nolan's new movie, Tenant was supposed to come out like this month i think they pushed it until yeah. theaters are open again like yeah i saw that because they tried to i think go digital I th- was it no it wasn't them it was another movie that was gonna go digital and amc is like if you go digital we're never ha- having any of your movies in our theaters again and so they didn't oh yeah i think i think wow. Ten- i think tenant's deal was like it has to be seen in the movie like Christopher Nolan's very particular about that. So, okay, that's fair. It's fair. Yeah, you know, I'm you cool with waiting for it, but yeah, you couldn't get me to go into a theater nowadays. Oh, no, absolutely not. Hell no, dude. Dude, I'm so fucking stoked about my living room. I don't even want to go to a theater. Like, I oh, I yeah. love like my <laughs> setup. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, I I won't miss theaters. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. So, yeah, you can watch it at home. Dude. All right. Party. Oh, Guar- let's guaranteed. Go. <laughs> I, I will, at the drop of a hat, pay $20 to see a movie that just came out to watch in my home. Because I'm going to mm-hmm. spend $20 to go see that in the theater anyways. Exactly. Or, or more than that, you know. Um, I'm, I'm willing to spend that money for a one-time viewing of something that just came out. I, I'm going to do it anyways, so why wouldn't I just do it in my the comfort of my own home? Yeah. So isn't that what Milan is doing? But like, it's like thirty bucks. Dude, I I heard Milan's having a lot of issues. Like, like it's it's getting well, other than trash. The movie, yeah. So, yeah. Well, uh, the movie it's like like itself aside. Like I think it's coming out on Disney Plus for like thirty bucks. Mm. Yeah. So that's going to work. Like you need to be a Disney Plus subscriber. <laughs> So you can pay thirty dollars, and you will have access to Mulan as long as you remain a Disney Plus subscriber. Wait, so, so it's you... totally oh, fucked. Wait, you get to keep the movie? Yeah. What? Oh shit! I didn't know that. Yeah, you you're paying for that movie separately from your subscription, but also mm-hmm. I believe you need to have a subscription <laughs> in order to watch it. I mean, so, what, right, are you, what are you gonna do? Android. Like. I mean, thirty dollars is kind of steep. You're gonna not watch the movie. <laughs> well, I'm not that's a I'm, rip off. Well, I'm not watching the movie anyways, dude. I don't give a fuck about that movie. The only the only thing that I care about that movie is that what's his name, Jimmy Wong, isn't it? Who's um, Freddie uh, brother. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, Jimmy Wong. Yeah, Jimmy Wong in it, and Fre- he's Freddie Wong's brother. Um. I, that's the only reason why I'm like, I'm I even really have that movie on my radar. He's in it. I like him. You know. That's 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 <laughs> that's, all. It. that's it. That's, that's really it. it. That's it. I guess it. so. You're right. Yeah. Once I heard that they weren't having like any of the music, I was like, Mm-mm. yeah, there was no music, and I heard they made like significant changes to like the plot. And like, I mean, they're not going to have the Mushu, so... Right. That's no Mushu. People are, oh, but it's more, like, cultural. I don't care. Uh, I don't think... Man, I feel like a lot of people jump on that cultural appropriation-like bandwagon too fast. They don't, yeah. they don't let the actual culture remark on it. They're just like, mm-hmm. oh, you're, you're appropriating this culture... Uh, f- your bad man sort of thing, like with um, Ghost of Sh- uh, Tsushima, right? Mm-hmm. That game just came out. It's been like maybe three weeks, something like that. Uh, made by an American team. Uh, about Japanese culture, and the entire world lit up, saying that like you know this is cultural appropriation, and like you know you have no right to doing. Yeah, Japanese culture, uh, like you Who know, said this? America, America, <laughs> yeah. fucking like 
like, I don't know what to, I don't even know what to call them anymore. People that just like fucking are hypersensitive to all this shit. And they just, they flip on a dime about all this stuff. Right. But then like Japan, like people that bought it in Japan and like Japan, they fucking stuff, loved it. They <laughs> fucking loved it. They thought they're like, dude, this is a sick game. Like, this is awesome. <laughs> like, thanks. <laughs> uh, and I'm just like, you guys aren't even letting these cultures be mad about it. Like you're being mad preemptively and causing all of this problem and like hatred instead of just giving them the chance of looking at it, the culture, whatever culture it is to look at something and be like, yeah, okay, we don't like this. This isn't appropriate. Like then you get mad, but no, it's instead, it's just like, oh, this is one culture doing another culture thing. Fuck them. Like they're terrorists. These are Nazis. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and like, you guys got to slow down. Like this is getting out of control. Like, I don't know. Let people like make art and like, and, and do cool shit. And if no one's hurting anybody and it's not coming from a place of hatred, who cares? Like, let them do, do, do what they want to do. 2020 doesn't need this shit. Like I've just been out of the, Ghosts of Tsushima conversation in general. I was just was never interested and in when it came out and I uh, heard good things and still not interested. Really? I thought that it would be a game that you'd be into. Yeah, you would think. But <laughs> because of the <laughs> appropriation. No. Not, you're just, not into it. <laughs> I think I'm just at a place in my life where I'm like, I know that this game is gonna be forty goddamn hours of collect fest shit and i'm not eh, yeah to do that because that's the one thing i didn't hear a lot about it was like it's a lot it's very very ubisoft collection-y yeah that's what approach I it's, it okay. plays a lot like a ubisoft game yeah okay. and like what is it view viewpoints towers and shit like that yeah, and I'm, I, I, I hear that and i i totally bounce off of that these days mm -hmm. i just don't have time for all that shit i feel you i uh Speaking of Ubisoft games, I beat Assassin's Creed Odyssey and all the DC. Nice. Um, that game took me 120 something hours. Um, but holy shit that I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was fucking awesome. Um, and then I went and beat Red Dead Redemption 2. Jesus. And How long the, did that take you? the DLC, shockingly, the main story only took like 40 hours. Oh, only. Yeah, I dude, that's not that long, honestly. If you think about like a Rockstar game, right? Like that's a JRPG. <laughs> like you think forty like, hours? Forty hours of JRPG? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, forty hours. No, oh, way. no. Let's look up Persona. No, if not, if we're using Dragon Quest as the <laughs> fucking scale. <laughs> Dragon Quest, Persona, a Final Fantasy game. No, dude. How long did Final Fantasy Persona. VII remake took thirty hours? How Final long did Fantasy Persona VII remake was part of a bigger whole? Persona 5 sure. main story. But it was expanded to be a full length. <laughs> Still thing. part of a bigger hole. Persona 5 main story is on average beaten in 97 hours. It's main, main and extra is 112. Completionist is 173. Nope. Oh, screw that. Are you kidding me? There's so much in that. My save game. file <laughs> is completed at one four, 148 hours. <laughs> yeah. You know, um, I just think it's awful that 40 hours is just we're just shrugging that off. 40 I'm, hours is nothing. I'm, I'm saying 40 hours is a commitment. It is something that'll take you a couple of weeks to do for sure. But it, it can be an enjoyable like 40 hours. Right. Yeah. Because I feel on the on the op opposite side of things, um, the weekend afterwards, I was trying to come up or trying to figure out another game to be because I'm on this like single player completionist like kick yep. right i want to beat Same. games want to beat games right have i have time to beat them <laughs> not exactly. going anywhere so so that's that's another thing i do alex after i'm done working i go in the living room and i play these games so uh because i'm trying so when to are you gonna play ocarina time <laughs> we'll get to that we'll oh to here that. we go so the All weekend right. after right I, I was trying to come up with a new game to play it was either going to be detroit become human or horizon zero dawn because that shit just dropped on pc Mm -hmm. unfortunately horizon zero dawn has apparently huge like performance issues right now and yeah, people are barely that. able to hit 60 frames a second with really good pcs 
So yeah, I'm chilling that. on that until that gets fixed. So I picked up Detroit Become Human, right? Let me tell you, that game only took, I think, I want to say like maybe 11 hours or 13 hours. Isn't that the standard for those Quantum Dream games, though? They're usually that short. Right. Well, it depends on how you play it, because those games, if you're bad, different routes, you and... can kill all the main characters and the game's over. Sweet, dude. Uh, um, so we got a really good ending and we were we were able to save everybody that we wanted to save some people died that we thought couldn't live but apparently they can uh <laughs> that game has 600 goddamn endings dude 600 different endings for that game nah, uh... yeah and so like but man the the story like just near the end it's so fucking tense like just trying to like figure out like make these decisions and stuff like that but it's like it's such a rewarding experience because it is something that can be done pretty quickly terry and i i i don't know if mike is into games at all does he play video um games? i'm getting him there a little bit this might be a yeah. good like like ease in because it's more of a story like um and right. it's it's less of a game but more of like a more of a, just just your type of story that you're trying to tell you know however you're going to play it and that's right. how I've been getting kind of Le I don't have to get Leanne into video games. She likes video games already, but we don't have a whole lot of multiplayer games and that's not really like what I'm trying to do in the living room. Um but I'll I'll play a single player game, but I'll have her make all the decisions for me. So for Assassin's Creed Odyssey, she was the one making up all the decisions. So like started the game, she chose are we playing as Alexios or Cassandra? We play Cassandra because she's the best. But um yeah. And we played through the whole game and I had her make all of the major decisions and thank, you know, credit to her. We literally got the best ending out of like the eight that you can get. We had the actual best ending of the game uh, right. because of her decisions and which are not like, there's a, there was a lot of times too, where I was like, okay, well, you know, I, I didn't feel like <laughs> nah, I don't agree. <laughs> I, yeah. I didn't agree. Like it was a lot of, like, a lot of decisions. Like, you know what? Fuck this person. Like, why are we going to let him live or whatever? And she goes, don't fucking kill him. And I'm like, fine, whatever, you know, and it, it paid off. And like it, we got the best fucking ending out of it. And, uh, she had a great time cause she was super invested. Although she was, she wasn't playing, but she was still invested. So same thing with red dead, you know, um, and Detroit become human. We, that one was more like a tag team thing, but um, I'd say that I'd say like pick up like Detroit Become Human if it ever goes on sale or if you already have it, um, and like What's play with Mike and have him like like make the decisions. You know, you you yeah. be the video game boy, but he makes all the decisions and stuff like that. I, I bet like by the end near the end of that game, you know, so I'm just gonna hit the fan. And I would love to hear your story how it ends. You know, compared yeah. to mine. Um, because fuck man, <laughs> yeah, that, that's a heavy. Well, story. that will be possible because we'll have a living room and a couch. Yeah, that's so like, and it's a quick game. It's it's not that bad. We did it in a weekend, like casually All playing. Right. You know, we said like fuck everybody else. We're not making plans this weekend. We're gonna chill out, and and just enjoy our time together. And we just played that. You know, it's good, good stuff. All right. So what's your next game? That's actually something I'm I haven't made my mind up on yet. I haven't I haven't really like figured it out. It was gonna be like I said, Horizon Zero Dawn, but I'm I'm gonna wait until the performance gets fixed on that before I buy it. Um so I'm kind of I'm kind of in like a a weird zone. I, I wanna play like bigger games that like have a little bit more umph to them, you know? Um like a story or something like that. Uh, so I don't know. I thought maybe Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Haven't haven't Hear beaten that. About that. Yeah. I have three and a half hours in that game, none of which is playing the actual story because I use <laughs> mm -hmm. it for benchmarks for computers. <laughs> so I boot it up on a brand new computer, hit the benchmark, and I record it for the GeForce Garage episode, and then I shut it down. <laughs> There's an achievement for that. Is there really? Yeah, I probably, I probably have it. Yeah. Check it out. I'm checking it out. Hold on. It's called Waste $60 on a game that uses a benchmark. 
<laughs> Damn. I'm I'm legitimately looking at my achievements. I was like, dude, I only got four achievements here. What are you talking about? <laughs> it took me a second to read through all of my achievements. <laughs> 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 it's not uh, also i think that game was given to me from nvidia so I didn't, right I didn't, I didn't pay for it it feels it feels very much where it's where it's at the point where it's been out for long enough that it like comes with your card or whatever <laughs> it like feels they like used that, to yeah. do they still do it um yeah so yeah. I, don't, I don't know what the next game is going to be if you guys have any recommendations i'm i'm out for it maybe maybe um, jedi fallen order I have a recommendation. It's okay. called Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time. I, I honestly, I have to agree with Terry on that. <laughs> I, Man, I, like, like, no joke. I have to. Like, can you can you guys separate your nostalgia from this to pitch it to me? No, no, it's not no, even that. No, really. no, no. <laughs> it's no, not, even not that. about the nostalgia. It is pretty. I would say pretty universally, we all agree. It is like a seminal work. Like, it is a moment in time, it is an anchor that you of all people should experience. Yeah. And the thing because is... Because you were there when it happened. And yeah. you do call yourself a fan of Zelda, so... If you call yourself a true video game I... boy, Hold on. you gotta play Zelda. Like, right here... Uh-oh. Look at, look at that. He, he got wow, this. Wow, the he play gold this cartridge. I have the gold <laughs> cartridge for the NES game. That that's up on my shelf. Not bad. And Not have bad. you played that? Yes, I have. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I I actually I I um fixed I repaired I restored a, an NES to to play through this. Um, All right. Well. Ditch that one, cause Zelda two sucks. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm I'm and not. Play this is, no, I already know. I'm I'm I've already. This is the Wait, this is that's Zelda one. The, yeah, no, he's oh. saying ditch the series. Zelda two. No, this is Zelda one. Buddy. Zelda one running. Oh, yeah. that was that was original. I thought Zelda yeah. two had a gold one too. I thought they both had. Dude, no, 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 no. it did, didn't it? No, no I, think, I don't think so. I think the two had a gold cartridge too. Did it really? Zelda. That makes me sad. Makes me even sadder if that did. Here, if you really want yeah. to play it authentically. Yep, it has a gold one. Oh, God, that makes me sad. There you go. Yeah, because I remember they both came out gold. Nah, Alex, I, I know you want to like look at that, but we got to look at this. <laughs> nah. Uh, the Adventure of Link. Mm, there's some people saying to remake that one. I was like, yeah. Oh, what? <laughs> See, okay, so, yeah, speaking of remakes, right, um... I I that's actually one reason why I have not played Ocarina or Majora's because I I I'm just waiting for them to be like fucking remaster on the Switch baby. They're you know? not going to do that. They and, already have 3D on 3DS. And, I know. And I just I don't know why but in my head I'm just like they're going to come out with it at some point, right? Like it's it's got to nope. happen. Play the original. If you're gonna wait for that, you're probably gonna be waiting at least another, I don't know, ten years. Because right now they're coming out with Skyward Sword HD. Yeah. Oh yeah, I heard about that. That's like dropped on UK Amazon or something like that. Yeah, there was another uh, website too that did it. So it's more or less a sure thing now. Okay, you played that, Alex, right? I did. Should I? You mean that is... Yes. Yes, if it ditches the motion controls for like actual controls, absolutely. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty linear compared to like other Zelda games. Sure, I mean, I'm sure going back from Breath of the Wild is gonna be growing. yeah. But I, I, I mean, if you're like into that, like the Zelda story and all that shit, Skyward See, I have the, the stories. I have the Historia, and I I I read everything in there, and I was like, oh. Because I never played Skyward Sword, so I just read about it. But it, it. made you curious. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Curiosity. I mean, it had like pictures and like concept <laughs> art, and like it was pretty fully fleshed out. Like I get it. I don't know. To me, like I didn't like the gameplay that much because, like I said, it's linear. Um, graphically, it was nice. Uh, yeah, the art style looked like, very painted. I like yeah, that. I remember that. Um. Story wise, though, like that, it blew me away. The right. 
the other argument I want to make because we're kind of talking about remasters again still is that I never played Wind Waker when I was a kid, but I played the HD remake as like a blind run and I fucking loved it. Like Wind Waker is great. It was so good and I had so much fun with it and it, it gave me that like that like feeling of being a kid playing a Zelda game and like just being super immersed with it. And I'm just like, just give it to me. Give me Ocarina and Majora's for this, this same experience. And that's, I think why I keep kind of like holding on to it. Cause I just feel like it's going to happen, but <sighs> nah, I, don't, I know. Yeah. 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 I don't think so. They did. They already, they did the 3ds one and that has like, the second screen controls in it so it wouldn't be super easy to port over right and they just probably just won't because we're getting skyward sword and breath of the wild too yeah unless they come out like with a collection of like zelda games for the switch all right so main story for ocarina people apparently average like 26 hours to beat does that sound right Mm, yeah hours yeah it seems like from 26 to 38 it seems for like completionists. Yeah, if you're going to go for like yeah, go for the hearts and, and all that shit. Bottles no. and I'm going to go to the credits. That's fine. Yeah. That that's where I'm at. Where's Majora? You do want those fairy uh fun upgrades though cuz they really help. Damn, Majora's Mask apparently only 21, 21 hours on average and even completion is completion is 31 in three days. that was another yeah. thing so like i um terry knows this and i'm sure alex you probably remember i didn't grow up with a 64 like i would yeah. i would go to terry's place to play the 64 or um like my cousins or something like that so i never owned one so i didn't have like these games then and like when i would go to terry's like we played smash brothers like that was that was what we did yep. over there. That and like Pokemon Snap, which by the way, that remake yep. fucking whoo, yeah, yeah, not buddy. a remake or sequel. sorry, sequel. Right, my bad. Just newer is what I meant in the general scheme of it. But yes, so like when I would go to other people's places, like and my cousins, it was like cruising USA. Like we would play that, and like that was a good game. Mm-hmm. Everybody had these Zelda games, but no one was playing them when I came over or like would ask me to play really i'm sure terry if i would have asked like hey this is a cool game can i play it you know Mm -hmm. maybe you would have said yes i don't know we were kids and like our priorities were all over the place then um (laughs) but uh you know maybe and so like it was like it wasn't anything that i ever played more than like maybe the first hour of and then like majora's mask as a kid kind of scared me like just seeing it because i never played it so i just saw like pictures of like the fucking the moon the moon was scary creepy. and like there was the 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 mask seller man who was kind of creepy mm-hmm. i think i think i don't know and so i was i i was hesitant to play it because like in my head i was like i only got three days to play this like this is this is bullshit i'm never gonna beat it and i it was scared of the time like limit um, yeah it is and and that is stressful. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and like, that's why I always bounce off of that game because I get to the point where I can like control it a little bit, and I'm like, all right, I don't want to do this anymore. Yeah, and, and and I don't know. As a kid, I was just like, I don't want to play a game that's going to stress me the fuck out. So instead, I played Metal Gear Solid, <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, and fucking fell in love with that game. Um, but uh, yeah, I, that was the thing. We we had maybe not made an agreement, but we had identified between the three of us games that are in our blind spots and metal gear is mine. Mm-hmm. I guess yours would be Zelda, but for Alex, those, those two games, you, those two, Zelda I don't know. Cause I played both of them already. There was something that you hadn't played that we were mm-hmm. going to make you play. Yeah. Cause we had this like kind of agreement where we're, t- where we're trying to come up with like, what like cult classic video game have you not played that, that you lose your gamer V card over, sort of thing. What haven't I played? Um, I don't know. Alex, you're not an epic gamer, all right, bro. There's a game <laughs> out there that you haven't played. I don't know. I I played. It's a well known fact. You're not an epic gamer. All it's right, not well, even in your Zelda. Twitter bio, dude. Yeah, I mean, Dwight, have you played Chrono Trigger? 
Let's see, I played that too. No. He didn't. Look at look at his no. face. Okay, I think that's <laughs> what. I... Look at my fucking face. You guys don't got your webcams up. I can't do that to you. All right. Like, <laughs> look at my fucking face. Okay, okay, so that's what it was originally for you was Chrono Trigger, I believe. It's true. So weird, like moment in my life where I didn't have Final Fantasy games or uh, any any JRPGs when it came to like the uh, Super Nintendo, but. I, I I somehow acquired the soundtrack for both games, Final Fantasy and Chrono Trigger, and I fucking fell in love with the soundtracks. And like I would just listen to the soundtracks because shit. even mm-hmm. to this day, like the 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 beginning of uh, the theme song for Chrono Trigger fucking gives mm-hmm. me chills, dude. Gives me mm-hmm. fucking chills. I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it. Like it's. It's so incredible what they were able to do with the fucking limitations back then. Yep. And yep. it blows my mind that they were able to do that. And um, Who did Chrono Trigger? Well, that wasn't Umatsu, was it? Uh, it was... Yeah, was it they, not? I don't think it was him. No, hold on. Wait, Chrono Trigger. I, I think I'm confusing it with something else. Shit, I thought Chrono Trigger was a way bigger game than that. Is it? Is it like... I'm? Dude, time to, how long to beat is like my favorite website these days. Uh, uh like most people beat that game between like twenty three to twenty seven hours. Ah, that's BS. Is it? <laughs> that's not nah, that's if you go straight through, I'm sure. Come, well, I mean that's like, this another is a, thing. It has this is an average. Endings. Yeah. This is the an thing average. about that game is though, if if you like even if you weren't doing a speed running, you could get to an ending within the first like half an hour of the game. Yeah, you could go to the end of the boss. Like, there's a way for you to do that. It's it's very. You shouldn't. <laughs> you shouldn't. It, it's gonna suck, you but you could wreck. do it. Okay. Um, it is too much. Too. I would say no. It's not. That it's, makes it's not. It's um, serious. Yasunori Mitsuda. It's both of them. Oh, that's They're both credited. Mean. Yeah. Yeah. Both, no, both Nobu credited. and Yasunori. Oh yeah. Both of them. With a few track composer. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Holy Fucking... shit! Like, if you guys want to just like, if people listening, obviously all of us are aware, but like, um, is it Nobu? Is that how you say his name? Nobu. 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 Uematsu. Nobu. Uematsu. Um, Uematsu. when I took Nobu. piano Uematsu. freshman year of high school, I found out that there is a a sheet music book of his music. And I never was at the level that could play that music ever. (laughs) Genius. Like absolute genius composer. Yes. Um, if you guys ever just want to fucking like, just get your mind blown by some beautiful music, just look him up, uh, listen to him stuff. But, um, I would take that sheet music and be like, I can't play this, but my teacher can. So like, I would just put the sheet music in front of her and she was a wizard and like, would just like look at the sheet music for like a couple of seconds and kind of like position her hands and kind of like scan through it. And then just fucking magic happened. <laughs> it was just like three minutes of her just blasting through this perfectly playing it and everything like that. And to hear that like in person, like with an actual like grand piano and everything like that was just, it was just fucking poetry for my ears dude i'd be you know weird about it i guess it was it was it was beautiful music and that's like that's that's like my life goal i want to i have my piano set up now i want to get back into it and learn how to read sheet music because i never learned how to read sheet music i learned everything that i knew by ear um and uh if i can just play one song from him like that's it. Like that's a life goal checked off for me. And the Chrono Trigger was the same way. Like piano music for that was amazing. That's one of the things on my bucket list is actually to go to one of the Distant Worlds content um concerts yeah. one day. Yeah. I would love to do that. Fuck, Chrono Trigger came out on March 11th of 1995. Yep. That, a day after my birthday. There's oh, yeah. uh, this is weird, like time distortion in my brain for stuff like that because I had a Super Nintendo, but we actually didn't get it until like ninety seven, ninety eight. 
but everything was new to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so That's it was the beauty like of being a kid, man. Yeah. Tricks are for kids. Good times. Good times. Uh, uh, yeah. Wise so you don't have to play Chrono Trigger. Uh, what? But you have to. Well, you don't have to play it yet. You have to oh. play it at some point in your life. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna ask, but like, where is this landing? You have to play Zelda. Have to play Zelda. Like soon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'd say Zelda before Trigger. Okay. I'm. I, I'll. I'll make you a bet that I will play and beat through Ocarina in the next month. Ooh. All right. I don't know if that uh, the next podcast will happen by then, but um, I'll I'll say that not both games, but at least Ocarina. This is the first one, right? Ocarina. Yeah, we're, we're gonna say Ocarina first. Ocarina. Well, okay. if you're playing it by the time we do the podcast, at least that's progress, you know. Sure, I can talk about it. Maybe then, yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. But I, I would say with my current trend of actually putting time into stuff, um, I think there's probably a good chance I probably could beat it within the next, next month. The The only thing that's going to hang me up is maybe the controls. I don't know. Because I can play it on my N64, right? You can. Oh, wait, shit. Can I? No. They also made a copy for a GameCube if you have one. No, I don't have a GameCube. Thought about getting a GameCube because I wanted to mod a HDMI under the back of it. Do you have a Wii? Cool. I have a Wii U. Can the Wii U read GameCube games? Yeah. Don't Wait. Run. Yeah. Um, yeah. Can it? Pretty uh, sure. Hold up. I got it right here. I'm pretty I know, sure it I, can. I know you could. Like... No, I don't. It's too high. But you have one. <laughs> it's, it's up on a shelf, and there's that table there, and I can't get close enough to reach it. But you have one. Yeah. Yeah, I got Wii U. Yeah. I know. Okay, well, if you're Wii U, oh, it's, all that. it's right there. <laughs> well, if yeah, if you can grab a GameCube copy, unless you did something to your Wii U. Nah, it's stock. Oh. <laughs> all right. Just continuing the podcast. Sure. Totally normal. Yeah, <laughs> to- totally normal viewing angle for the podcast. Don't mind me, everybody. Just uh, doing visual gags for the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> for for my boys. That's that was just a that was like that was a bit for the boys. All right. So you have okay. your homework. I got homework. Um, you guys gotta get homework. Well, well I was I'm giving about you to homework. No, nope, fuck you. No, you. No, nah, I'm not getting homework, and you guys ain't getting homework. All right. Uh, this all ain't right. like a three way teacher thing, and I'm the student. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All um, right. Lay it on me. I'm saying, Terry, for sure, I want you to play fucking Detroit Become Human with, with, with Mike. Straight okay. up. Straight up. I, I think I think if you guys sit down and you play that, that's a super easy game to get through. There's like no there's no way that you can't beat it because your story is gonna be made up for you. Mm-hmm. Um and, yeah, and I want, I want to talk about that. Got it. <laughs> just shoot everybody get done in four hours down with the humans <laughs> kill all humans <laughs> kill all humans um yeah i'm saying that for you terry okay all right what's brando and alex's yeah. homework though i i don't remember what it was i can't that, either for the life of me <laughs> and it fucking disgusted me <laughs> that you really? hadn't played it it's not Chrono Cross, is it? Because I gave that a shot and no. that was awful. I would never wish Chrono Cross on anybody, first of all. <laughs> okay, I'll make sure not to play that one. Don't play that one. <laughs> no, oh, don't, don't play, oh, don't that. play that one. The music is great. The music for Chrono Cross is amazing, but the game itself was... I could not handle it. Okay. God. You ever play Minecraft, Alex? Uh, <laughs> you know, I've heard of it. <laughs> this is going to bother me. Yeah, I know we talked about it on a podcast too. Anybody yeah. who's listening to the podcast right now, if we don't figure it out by the end of the podcast, we're going to um, task them to scan through years of podcasts. Was it I, don't a even, I feel like it was a PlayStation game. Like I don't even think that we have to. I yeah. think some people that listen remember shit way better than we do. It wasn't Legend of the Dragoon, was it? I have that. That wouldn't bother me if you hadn't. I was gonna it. say it must I have not been it. 
It's a good one, but not that good. I see. Like it's one that like I have to absolutely play, right? It yes. it would it would have yeah. been a, a a cult classic, yeah. That like was like the shit. Not even back a cult classic, day. just like a really good game. Station. Just just something you could get your gamer card revoked over. Yeah, that, which, which is, is where very my, arbitrary, but I know. Yeah, but it's you know, it's whatever. I don't know. It's gonna bother me. Was it Cool Borders too? Was it was Dwight mad at it, about it too? Yeah, Maybe, possibly. I don't. That I don't might know. narrow it down actually. <laughs> if it's something we were that, both upset over. That's because true. If, like I don't know what it is. Then like if you both were on it, then I have that's no true. Idea. Yeah, I I do feel like it was like PlayStation One, PlayStation Two era. I feel like it was also. It was definitely a 3D game. And I was like, yeah, and I've played it, and you're like... Mm. you played Resident Evil before, right, Alex? <laughs> yeah, of course I have. I don't care about Resident Evil. Yeah, I was going to say, that's not a game Terry cares about. Wait. Oh, hey, by the way, I also have the Final Fantasy VII Remake that I, I still have not played the original more than, like, an hour. And I have that one ready. Where does that, that, where does that, lie, where does that lie in my priorities here? I mean, I... If you had played the original all the way, th- or at least through Midgard, then I would push that up. But, I mean, if not, I would say not as high priority. Okay. I just feel like the 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 remake, the seven remake experience is heightened if you had played the original. So right. if you're going yeah. in without having done that, it's still cool, but it ain't gonna hit the same. Not gonna have those moments where you, you point you're pointing at your screen like this that's the thing. They did the thing. <laughs> yeah. That's true. And then when they do things that are completely not part of that, where you point on the screen like that's not a thing. They can't do that. <laughs> I'm never gonna have that experience. I'm gonna be nope. like, oh, so that happens. <laughs> oh, that's just how it happens. <laughs> so that's how it's always no. happened, always. They do some insane shit by the end of that that spoiler alert is just is not what happened <laughs> and yeah. it's very intentionally so and that's i think it's super cool and interesting but just ain't gonna hit the same if you don't have the context mm-hmm. was it shadow of the colossus um, I, I I, that, that it doesn't it that, on ps4 that one's not hitting me but yeah is, i mean that I is a good be, game I would say, yeah, I would say it's on PS4. I'll definitely play that if you have it. I already have. Yeah, I already did. Wouldn't kill me if you hadn't played it. Yeah, no, it's definitely not that. Was it Katamari? Have you not played Katamari? You should totally play Katamari. I I, I, I already did play Katamari is what I was going to say. (laughs) Are you kidding? No, I I, I, I really feel like, the more I think about it, I really feel like it it was definitely a 3D game from that era. It was definitely like, a big epic game. Fair enough, be Metal Gear. That's all I can say. No, I already played <laughs> no because it they been. that was their thing. They both played Metal Gear and really like it, but I have only gotten like halfway through Shadow Moses ever. <laughs> I don't know, man. That was like <laughs> my... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't think of Was it, it like I mean I'm just scrolling through a list of fucking best yeah. Yeah. one games I'm just here? I'm gonna have to refer to a like... list of the greatest hits later. Yeah, like I, and there's I'm a couple of games here I haven't these. played, but Terry, I feel like you probably have and would probably hate Alex if he didn't play. Maybe Legend of Mana or Wild no. Arms. <laughs> no. Okay. Wild Arms. I wouldn't be Wild mad about Wild Arms, but okay. Wild Arms was dope. Did we play good. Wild Arms, Alex? Uh, no. Oh, Wild Arms is cool. Wild Arms is cool because it was one of the oldest games or one of the oldest RPGs I can think of that, like, let you make your own spells. Yep. And really good music. Yeah. Uh, Alex, I mean, it it might be easier for you to rack your brain if there's, like, a game from, like, video game, like, history that you've always wanted to play but never did. Like, is there any games like that that, like, hit your your head? That was the thing, because I don't think you wanted to play this game. (laughs) What? Really? 
I think it was just something that we pushed on you of like, you oh, haven't played this? Right. Oh, shit, maybe, but I don't know. And the reason you probably didn't play it is because you just didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, guys. If I didn't care, then it's going to be even harder for me to remember what it was. True. I mean, not that you didn't care. It's just something that, like, you know, just wasn't on your radar. Yeah. I don't know. If yeah, it's something like a PS3 game, like, I couldn't play that because... I never had it. No, it was definitely an older an older game. What about you, Brando? Yeah. What about <laughs> you? Let's let's move on You're to you. Not getting we keep thinking about you. I'll be honest, there's a lot of like I'm just looking through my Steam list of things that I've bought that I've really wanted to play at the time and I just haven't. Like there's Near on here, there's Octopath Traveler on here. Uh, all that shit is too new. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't know. It ain't gonna hit the same unless it's an older game. Yeah. And that's why it's harder to think games. about because there's a lot of fucking old games. Yeah. Yeah. This is going to be impossible to narrow it down. It just has to happen through conversation where one of us brings up the game and one person's like, oh, I haven't played that. And then it's <laughs> yeah. like, what? what? Yeah. I don't know. Like, because, yeah, I mean, like, Terry, you're and I, like, crossover of video games. We've both played a lot of the same video games, but we both don't have the same like feelings on, right. on, on on games like if it's a game that you and i both agree that holy shit you have to play this yeah. um then it that lowers that 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 list quite a bit yeah it was very specific that's why it's gonna be impossible to yeah think about i think yeah which kind of sucks was it odd world no By chance <laughs> yeah <laughs> I don't care about Oddworld. <laughs> I, it's just I saw it pop up on here, and I was like, "Oh, that's Odd an old World. game." I know Terry played Odd World, but yeah, but I've never heard Terry say, "I fucking love Odd World." I play I, Abe's Odyssey, bro. I like Abe's Odyssey. I would never tell any. I wouldn't like, like you have to play this game. It was an interesting game for its time, and it has a spot in history, and it just needs to stay there. They're making a new one. Did you see that? I did. I did see that. Alex. I don't have mm. much. Did you play yeah. Uncharted? Yeah. You did? Okay. You bought me the collection, remember? I couldn't remember if you actually played it because I was I was irritated I that you hadn't played no, it. No, I did. I watched Uncharted on YouTube, all three of them. <laughs> that, that's fine. If you like don't want to play it, it, it's a great it's a great story. I love it. Yeah, it was like a nice little Indiana Jones. See, like the the dude that uploaded it, like cut it up like a movie, so he cut out all the shooty bits. And yeah, just, like... yeah, that's how there... that's how we're actually getting through Red Dead One right now. Um, Leanne and mm-hmm. I, I've I've already played it, but I don't really care to go and back and play it, especially mm-hmm. after watching some of the cutscenes. Man, that game did not age well. Um, <laughs> <laughs> holy shit, it looks bad. Even the 4K like upresing that the Xbox One did to it. And that made it look worse. <laughs> yeah, that generally uh, <laughs> makes yeah. things look worse. But like, she wanted to know the story because Red Dead Two is a prequel to that, and so right. like, that's like wrapping up the story of Two. So like, we're kind of like watching the cinematic movie of it, right? Um, which I think is a fine way to 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 experience a game. Um, yeah, I think if you're um, only caring about the story, like. The Metal Gear games, I did that as a refresher, just out of you know boredom, when I needed to kill a lot of time. I watched all the Metal Gear movies on YouTube. That's a long list. It, it, well, it got really long. <laughs> like as soon as Metal Gear Solid Four came around, I was like, Four, "Oh, yeah. this Four is a, a couple movie. of days worth of, of watching." Yeah. Um, Great story shout though. Out, shout out long. to the long players that just play the game and don't say shit. <laughs> Yeah, the guys with the, the no commentary guys that just record. <laughs> oh God, yes, absolutely. I I sub on YouTube to people who do that stuff mm-hmm. because thank God for them. Love a long play. What? I what did you make money? Money. <laughs> Now that I think about it, <laughs> yeah. long play channel has got to be making some money. Oh yeah, that, you play that watch time one game. And you just drop a block <laughs> of uh, six hours. Dude, fucking the yeah, especially since a lot of YouTube revenue now is on watch time and retention. Mm-hmm. Yep. Whew. 
Dude, one of my one of my biggest like quote unquote money makers still is the Halo Super movie that we did. <laughs> that Halo Four great, Legendary though. mode, fucking the worst microphones in the goddamn world throughout the entire game. It's still like a game that or a playthrough on my channel that still brings me some revenue, and that was years ago. <laughs> that was when Halo Four came out. I'm nope, sure we're gonna Skyrim. do a Halo Five one. I want to, you know, whenever that comes out on PC, infinite or five, just five in general. I haven't played five. So I don't even know five, five is, was five the one where it was chief and the other dude. Yeah. Okay. Uh, That's the one I did not play. The last one I played was four. It was, it was whatever. You're fine. (laughs) <laughs> I mean, it's Halo. Oh, okay. I feel like I get it. I, I get it. Even like what they showed at Xbox's little conference thing, the, the Infinite, it's like, it's Halo. More Halo. Prettier Halo. It's Halo, but I think Cortana is bad now. That's it. Wasn't she already bad? She was like losing <laughs> her shit. On her she way. Was sick, bad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what happened in 5 then? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Did anyone play five? I, don't know. I, I played I through I, five. I, I don't remember. I think the story is like the least interesting part of Halo for me. <laughs> I gotta be honest. Oh no, dude! I love Halo, but I will admit, after three, it kind of dropped off. We finished the fight. The fight was supposed to have been finished. <laughs> yeah, except it wasn't. We gave them back their bomb. Ooh, yeah. I actually did. I just watched um um a video of Steve Vai uh doing mm-hmm. the infamous Halo guitar rift like mm. in the studio thing uh, that oh, was that was fucking chilling to watch cuz fucking Nile Rodgers is also there for some reason just hanging out and um just watching him like Steve uh like with the guitar just like listening to the dun 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 dun, mm. dun, 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 dun yeah. and he's just like sitting there like kind of like figuring stuff out in his head and then just all of a sudden he's just like like does a couple of like little small little riffs and then he does that fucking like thing with the fucking whammy yeah. and I've then he just fucking so picks time. up and it's just dun, 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 and and it's it was it was insane to watch it's like he did that like the first take <laughs> like that, he he was listening to it and he goes, "Oh yeah, I know how to fucking yeah, kill this man. shit," and he just fucking nailed it, and it was so fucking cool. And you could see the audio engineers get all like excited. Yeah, you could just see like Mal Rogers just sitting there like air guitaring with it, just like fucking jamming out. And it was just it was such yeah. a weird like moment in time where it's like. You just you made like video game history in that room that day. Like that is like an infamous guitar rift, you know, um, yeah. song from a game. And it's one of my favorite videos. Yeah, Alex, I don't know what the fuck this game is, dude. Like, what do you want to play? Like, <laughs> uh, I, I don't know, bro. Like, yeah. I'm I have I like this. I'm just gonna say that whatever it was, I played it. <laughs> fuck you. No, no, no. <laughs> Now I'm gonna find this fucking game. Yeah, that. Was it Dark Cloud? <laughs> you ever it played Dark be. Cloud? I, I have Dark it on Cloud Two. Four. <laughs> Alex, like it can't be. It's impossible. <laughs> I have it. <laughs> yeah. Having said that, I've been going through a list, and I did find one game pretty iconic that I haven't played. What game? Which, I've never played Half Life Two. That's what that it was. was. It. That was it. That was Who's the man? man? <laughs> Who's the man? Holy it was shit! I fucking too. Yeah. I'm yeah. yeah. out. You. Did we this fucking just two. like? <laughs> is this really how this is gonna happen? <laughs> Like just out of nowhere, Brando's just gonna be like, "No, uh, uh, I, yeah, I kind of want to play. I'd never play Half Life too. It that was it, because I fucking remember you yeah! fought so hard to not play the game. <laughs> okay, I remember now. Yeah, I still don't give a fuck. Like, <laughs> mm-hmm. well, guess what, motherfucker? <laughs> <I> guess. 
<laughs> you got fucking I'm homework. I'm downloading it right now. I yeah, am yeah. downloading right. it right now. And I know you have it because you have Gmod, so go ahead. Start downloading. <laughs> yep. Fuck. <laughs> Yo, okay. Okay, so... You're not gonna talk yourself out of this. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not gonna say. It. I'm gonna beat it. But because Brando hasn't played it either, is it acceptable I... we do the co-op thing? Fuck no. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck no. Fuck no. It's not acceptable. You have to experience it yourself. <laughs> it is acceptable for Terry and I to do this fucking co-op <laughs> shit. Yeah. Terry, we should do this co-op shit. It's a good idea. <laughs> no, you guys got your own shit to play. That? No, no, no. <laughs> we can do, we that? do that. Yeah, no, no it's we did yeah that before the co-op yeah. on Half Life Two. Yeah, we like played through the whole game. It was like janky. You had to like once you got to the end of the level, you had to like go into the console and tell it to go to the next level or whatever. But oh shit, I think that that was like years ago though. I think that was like a long a, time ago. I think there's I don't a know better better version better of it now. I think there I'm, is. I'm, I hope so. It yeah. was many years. Um, it was like you had to know the map name, and we had like a list of yeah, like, okay, yeah. that we have to go. In. Mm-hmm. I remember that. Yeah. Um, no, we should we should check that out though. You guys got to do episode one and two with it though, because oh, we do. Okay, yeah, so I gotta do that. Okay. yeah, because um, uh, the they're not that long, so it won't. It's not. Uh, I'm looking at how long to beat the the main story for Half Life Two should only take you guys like 13 hours. That's like nothing. Um, oh, only. That's nothing, dude. I'm about to I'm fucking kidding. play Ocarina, all right? Like, uh, uh, and episode one and two is a collective nine hours extra. So it, is that it'll be separate because I don't know if I have that. Uh, one and two, I think so. I, I mean, it probably just, just have, comes with it now. Half Life Two, Half Life Two Deathmatch, and Half Life Two Lost Coast. Okay, yeah, I it, it's definitely called it one and two. Force two. Oh no, that's one. Never mind. Okay. Uh, Episode. I mean, um, well, you guys both already have Half Life too, so there's no real reason for you to pick up the orange box. But uh, oh, there it is. Half Life Two, Episode One. Wow, that shit is eight dollars. I'll actually I'll check. Bottom now by now. Check out the those bundle deals that are below it because it'll give you discounts for stuff that you already own. You might get a you might get a discount for just the one and two. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, Half Life Complete, but it's gonna give me like Team Fortress Classic, and I don't want all that. Oh, well, you don't have to download that. Alex. I was about to say, just fucking pad that library, dude. You gotta catch up to me. I only have one thousand two hundred eighty six games. <sighs> So, where are you at? Would you you gotta be right around the corner? I am at one thousand one hundred. Let me see. Maybe an even. At all right? No, one, not even one thousand. It can't be. It says I, I have four hundred and ninety-seven. Four hundred ninety-seven. All right. Well, that's respectable. You know. I've had this Steam account so fucking long. <laughs> I know. Dude, this uh, I I. I regret not making my own Steam account sooner than I did, because mm-hmm. I borrowed. You know, you know this fucking account I borrowed. If the Alex and Terry, uh, uh, do you guys remember? Neo. Do you remember? Not Neo. Yeah, Neo. Yeah. <laughs> I borrowed. I borrowed Neo's fucking account back in the day, because he had Half Life and Counter Strike. And I wanted to play those, and he's just, just like, "Dude, I like never counter- use, I never use my Steam. Go ahead, use it." And so I used his Steam for like the longest time, and then I was just like, "I need to just make my own." Shout out, shout out to Neo. What the fuck happened to that guy, bro? That guy, a fucking G back in the day. Yeah. Bro had like fourteen computers back in his in his room. Running a bunch of like ra- server for Ragnarok, <laughs> Ragnarok <laughs> online servers on them and shit. Like, who are forums and stuff? Did he uh, have more than one. Um, he had more than one computer for sure. No, more than one server. Did he I have a he, secret server that he didn't tell us about? <laughs> I don't think it was a secret. I think he would like play around with like another another one. Yeah, he had like a test server. Or yeah, he fucked around on. Because mm-hmm. I remember I being on that one writing quests quest lines mm-hmm. that were going to be brought over to rebel 
and Aro's quest system. And I use that loosely because <laughs> there Awful. was no system. <laughs> there's not there's not enough quotations in the world <laughs> to line that word quest system. Um that game is still fucking going. Dude, I I still get marketing emails. Yeah, you showed us the other day. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting marketing emails for Ragnarok Online. Oh yeah, that's like, <laughs> from the like, well, let's go kill her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <I> was... <laughs> <laughs> yeah hold up what, what the fuck was it like <laughs> jose is like well shit let's go kill her <laughs> <laughs> fucking jose dude <laughs> yeah it says dear colleagues and friends glad to inform you about the next regular update in ragnarok online new mvp valkyrie Ran rangris along with a new location odin's shrine and a lot of other new things Please help us distribute this information amongst your users. <laughs> All the details are attached. Thank you very much in advance. Best regards, PR team. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> and, Jose fucking saw this shit. He goes, well, shit, let's go kill her. <laughs> Can you imagine the amount of time it would take us to start from level one? On a, a one times experience server. Oh, dude, <laughs> come on. We couldn't do that. No. We we don't we have could. that. We don't have that in us anymore. We could. We know where to go. Do what? It. Dude, that's a <laughs> different <laughs> game now, man. That's that ain't our RO anymore, man. <laughs> sure it is. It's hidden temple till you get your first job and then <laughs> bullshit that stopped working that was a bad strat even when we were playing man like yeah. that was... you fucking die three times trying to get the hidden temple to begin with <laughs> you gotta fucking walk your numb ass back that way <laughs> get back in that got the... get past the popo rings and shit like begging for ag ups <laughs> yeah like Please. yeah hanging out I'm before so slow <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hanging out at the fucking warp at the top of Frontera, be like, anybody, please, just blessing, edgy up, blessing, edgy up, please. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know why, but I just really want to say we were criminals in that game. We weren't. We're just we're terrible. No, it it go. It, the plan would be for all of us to start at the same time, except Jose, who would start the day after, because his thing would be, all right, now come take me some purple <laughs> <laughs> Let me know when you get your first jobs, and I'll hop on. <laughs> oh man, that that's still like in my head, one of like the the pinnacles of like my gaming experiences in my oh, career yeah. was like getting your second career. job getting your second job in RO mm -hmm. that, that at will... four o'clock in the morning, <laughs> <laughs> four o'clock in the morning and talking to people being like, I dude, I was desperately trying to figure out where the fuck the assassins guild was. Right. Like, right. Like right. where the shit is this? And people are like, you got to go to Morocco, right? You go there. It's two South and two East from there. And I'm like, okay, I think I got you that. Go into the pyramid. Yeah, you go into the fucking pyramid and you go down like all these fucking levels of this maze or whatever, and then boom, you're at the Assassin's Guild. That game but, was so fucking opaque with that shit. <laughs> the game didn't tell me that. It was fucking didn't tell you shit. <laughs> it was people. I talked to I hunted down other assassins and I was just <laughs> like, please, sir, sir <laughs> stop. <laughs> you have directions. <laughs> <laughs> I need a job. <laughs> I need a job. <laughs> and uh holy shit, man, was it just like it was like uh, god, it just I, we can't ever have that experience again. Like it just <laughs> it doesn't exist in this day and age. Like games these days. Yeah, like they put a, a line on the ground and show you where to go. I'm not even saying that. Marker. I'm just saying like um, the the experience of not having very good like web pages that taught you shit. Right. You had like, game FAQs forums. And right. if it wasn't there, then you're screwed. Figure right. it out. Actually, ask Jeeves wasn't helping you out. Mm -hmm. ask, ask Jeeves is <laughs> like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. What the fuck is this <laughs> Korean shit? Like, <laughs> <laughs> and now like the second a game comes out there's a wikipedia somewhere with it 
fully unpacked. Yep. Yep. Or let's play. You can watch. Of or, or, or just play. like a dude on YouTube yes, that just says like, who, "Here's the who assassin skill." The game. Yeah. Right. Someone who has owned the game for less than 24 hours, but is already at the end somehow and has documented the entire experience. But not yeah. us. We had to look at very vague guides written in Korean with me. screenshots to go <laughs> off of. Yeah. Didn't help me for shit. I had to like beg people for help. Yeah. And we didn't have the right click translate to English back in the day. Nope. Nope. Good times. All right. Yeah. Good times. Glad they're all right. Right. Things are better now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's, it really is. Like I'm, I'm on the verge. Like I really want to play through Morrowind. But I'm not going to play through Vanilla Morrowind. There's no way I'm doing that right now. I don't have that in me. Isn't you know? uh, Skywind still happening? Skywind's coming out. Yep. There's a. Uh, they just put out a gameplay video of it, a 4K one. Whew. It's it's, it's look looking good. good. It's looking good. It's All looking right. real good. I'm really excited for that. But and Oblivion too. Like those are both kind of like in my brain right now. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't know. I got I got homework. I got a different game I got to work through right now. Yep. You guys have homework? <laughs> yep. We'll, we'll homework. reconvene uh, next podcast, hopefully a little bit richer in our in our video game um, uh, life. I guess, Terry, you're doing a modern game. We're all doing classics. I but, am. But that's fine. I'm, what I'm, game I'm, are would... you doing again, Terry? Detroit, become human. Mm, yeah. Yeah, you're like way modern. Yeah, but... This is this is more like this is like couples homework for Terry. We're we're trying to we're trying to ease yeah. Mike into the ecosphere, and that I think that's fine. One of us. One of us. <laughs> <laughs> um, have him make the decisions, Terry. That's gonna get him All invested. Right. That's gonna get him invested. You you be the video game boy. You do your magic with your fingers, and and he he does the brain work. There's gonna be time stuff too, so you better make sure he's staying on top of his game. Because there's, there's oh, been won't. times like yeah, there's like time shit come up. Oh, and I'm like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? And I'm like looking at her on the show. Like, what do you? What do I gonna do? That ain't gonna work with his attention span. But we'll do our best. Yeah, just try, just try. All right, boys, let's close this shit out. You got anything else you want to talk about before we go? Um, what? So what have you beaten? Rattle off your your beat list for quarantine. Uh, I mean, I already have Assassin's Creed Odyssey, um, Dude, Red Dead yeah. Redemption Two, and Detroit Become Human. Um, all right, all right. Those are those are three. I mean, that's like over two hundred hours of games right there. So like, that's where I've been at. Um, but I'm I'm keeping the train going, keeping the train going. So I'm excited. I'm excited for Ocarina of Time. I just got to figure out a way to play it in the living room, because you're sixty four, isn't it? Right, but my TV doesn't have oh no no you know what composite (laughs) if you want to i mean if you're willing to drop like 50 bones i linked you the thing for the gamecube disc oh shit voice like that fuck uh maybe maybe damn 55 bucks maybe i'll think about it game's just that good it's still that expensive you you can hook up your wii u i mean it says right there alex not for resale i don't this is the promotional disc this, this is yeah, I game. used to have that, but my box never said promotional disc. Okay, so, so is about. this the game though? Like, it's not a promotional disc, <laughs> like for like a demo it's, or something. It's the game. It has four games. I think Majora's Mask is in there too. Oh, it's it's four games. Yeah. Oh, shit. I think it's Zelda one and two. I don't know if it's Majora's Mask. It might be. Disc has four amazing Zelda games, including Zelda, Zelda two, uh, Ocarina of Time, and Majora's Mask. Oh, there you go. Great. Three games I care about. Uh, Just no so... <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys. Uh, appreciate you guys making the time for the podcast. Kind of a late notice thing. Just earlier today, just like, hey, let's do a podcast. Quick, quick and dirty. And mm-hmm. it happens when it happens. You can't, you can't rush can't it. Rush. You, can't, you can't plan for it. Yeah. Even though we did for a while. It is, for it. it is what it is. It, Shit it. What it is. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for listening to Team Mongoose Podcast. We'll catch you guys uh, for the next one when we all come back and talk about the games we played. And if you guys yeah. haven't played any of those games either, uh, I highly recommend them. them. Yeah, check them out. You know, most people have Half Life 2, and a lot of people probably haven't even mm-hmm. played it. Yeah. 
They were given um, that game away at one point, I'm sure. Yeah, it's true. You can play these games alongside us. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, bye. 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 bye.